Rebel Rouser. Actually, this uh, where I first heard the song was uh, Forrest Gump soundtrack. It's one of those ones I like doing on guitar. It's just like a nice little instrumental break. If you're playing, you know, actually, I used to combine this with Pipeline and uh, Peter Gunn and a secret agent man. We'd throw it all into one big mashup. But, uh, it kind of works for the Merlin. It's one of those things when you when you uh, don't listen to the song, you think that those horn, the horn section changes. The horn section plays the same thing over and over, right? So if you play everything on your bass string and then just use your uh, second and first strings as the horn section, kind of works in my mind anyway. So what we're doing, so it starts with a bend. You can do it on your high string too. That's it. Actually, that's not it. And in a song, if I remember right, you do it like four times and then it keeps climbing up in keys. You keep stepping up one step, which won't work in a Merlin. So basically that's it. <laughs> so to do the other part, other, well, not the other part, the other way I'm doing it. There's two other ways. The first one is I'm just double picking the hell of it and not doing the horn section. Exactly the same, except you're just adding a whole shitload more of uh, picking into it. And then the other way is the horn section. Closer to the horn section, you can kind of pick that out as well. All of those ways work. Uh, it's just a short little lesson. Actually, I think I did this lesson like six months ago. I just never put it out. Or maybe I did. Maybe it's in there somewhere and I'm just redoing it now. I don't know. Anyways, the Wayne Andy Rebel Rouser. We will see you guys. I don't know. I think I got a few more today. See you guys in a bit. Practice, patience, have fun.